Welcome to Adhocracy, the show for people who see the big picture in art and advertising. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Adhocracy Show. I'm David Landine. And I'm JD Melville. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about guerrilla marketing, but before we get to that, we just want to tell you a little bit about some stuff we have going on right now. Um, make sure you watch yesterday's episode, our pilot episode. Make sure you share that per episode with somebody else. And make sure that you visit us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social media. You know, it's all about marketing art. And seeing as we're a marketing channel, we're going to market very well. Yeah, please interact with us. We want to hear your ideas. If you have something you'd like us to cover, please let us know in it, in the comments in any of our social media. Uh, we'll, we'll look into it and see what we can't do. Also, send us any links to your favorite commercials or any of your favorite marketing that you've seen because, hey, you're out there in the world. You see marketing maybe more than us. And so we want to have those uh, great ideas coming coming at us. And you can put those in the in the comments below or you can uh, send it on Facebook or however you, you know, contact us that way. Um, all right, so today we are going to be talking about guerrilla marketing. Now, guerrilla marketing is when somebody does some unconventional advertising in a very creative way. And there's not really a firm definition because it's so broad but it can be, you know, putting up a giant thing in a park or having a whole bunch of people go out and stand or a certain way or sing a song or just some creative way of getting exposure to your product. There's a, there's a lot of really interesting ones out there. Like um, I, I remember Mr. Clean did, a, uh, there's the, the, the road crossing strips and they made one of them super bright white. Um, and then put the little logo on it. It's stuff that you come across that, that really makes you stop and go, oh, that's an interesting interaction with that brand. Another one that I, I found particularly gross, but um, they put a coffee, basically it looked like the top of a coffee mug on top of a sewer so that when it would steam at night, um, you would see the steam rising from this hot um, coffee. So they can be kind of bizarre and weird and we're gonna play a little game today called Is It Guerrilla Marketing or Modern Art? Okay. So I went on to the internet. It's a really cool place if you haven't discovered it yet. And I found a whole bunch of guerrilla marketing places where they put giant things in different places to bring exposure to their product. But then I also went, I found just modern art where they put giant things in random places for art's sake. So uh, the rules are there's 10 questions and they're one point each you have to get seven points to win. Okay, seven points. And there is a prize. And uh, then, but however, if you, whether you guess marketing or advertising, whether you get it right or wrong, if it's a marketing thing, if you can tell me what they are marketing, you get an extra point for that. Okay. So, let's see, number one, a fried egg. A giant fried egg. Okay. Is it art or marketing? Ooh, interesting. Um, I would I would say that it's probably art. I mean, you could you could easily make it about advertising, but but I'm going to go with with art on this one. You're correct. Wow, one out of one. Okay, um, it's called the Big Chook. Uh, it's made of fiberglass and high epoxy. It's in Australia uh, back in 2005, and it was the artist is Jeremy Parnell. Uh, so yeah, walking uh, on the beach and you see a giant fried egg, it's art. All right, <laughs> next up we have a tennis racket. A giant tennis racket. A giant tennis racket. Is it art or marketing? I'm going to go with the strategy on this one. And since the first one was art, I'm going to go with marketing on this one. And you are correct. What product are they marketing? I, I'm guessing it would have to do something with the sport thereof, um, maybe not. Let's, uh, maybe it's an, an event. Maybe it was for uh, Wimbledon. Maybe it was for uh, the balls, Wilson balls. Um, I, need a, I need a firm answer here. Yeah, let's do, let's do balls. You're close. If you'd gone with your first one, I would have given it to you. Uh, oh, tennis Masters, Masters Cup. Cup. This is a cool one. It was in China in 2006. They 
their idea was the fastest serve generates over 560 newtons, and that's enough power to propel a human being. So they built a tennis racket trampoline out oh. there and had somebody <laughs> cool. jumping and doing tricks off of it. A uh, creative idea, and it got exposure. And I mean, I would I would stop and watch a person jumping on a tennis racket. I would have no problem with that. Interesting. I, I might even like watch tennis. And it was done by just saying something. TW, TBWA. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next up, a banana peel. Banana peel. A banana peel. For some reason, the food items just make me think art. Like they're they're going art, but. Uh, I think you broke the mold here and went with advertising on this one. Marketing. See, he's 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 playing the the opponent, and he's right. <laughs> it is marketing on this, but he, there's no way he's gonna get the product. That's that's just how it is. You're three for three right now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Gorilla Glue. Just Gorilla Glue. Uh, no bifocals. 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 Rodenstock bifocals. Uh, they said there's. No way you could overlook a slippery banana pill if you're wearing uh, rod and stock bifocals. This was in Germany. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting. I mean, one of those things that exposure to bifocals, <laughs> put a banana pill, right? That's, I mean, that's an interesting line of thought. Yeah. But people stopped and looked at it, so I guess it worked. All right. A giant spider? Um, I'm going to say marketing again, advertising. Oh, man. You broke your streak. It's art. Oh. Maman? Uh, it's a giant 30-foot spider uh, in... It's gross. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't say where, where it's at. You can probably Google it and find out where it's at. <laughs> put, it in the, put it in the comments. Where, where is this? Uh, artist was Luis Burgoyes. Bur... I don't know. I don't speak French. <laughs> Must be French. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, one of the largest spiders uh, ever. 30 feet high, 30 feet wide. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Art. All right. Uh, flip flop. A flip flop. Um, let's go with marketing. Marketing. Okay. You're right. Uh, what product? <sighs> flip flop. If it's on a beach, let's see. I'm trying to remember because I know that they have flip flops where they put the name in like the bottom of the flip flop. But this is going to be a big flip flop. It's a, it's a, it's a big it's flip flop. It's a giant yeah. flip flop. Not one that you're going to wear. Oh, interesting. Um, let's go. Let's go with sunscreen. I don't know why, but sunscreen. Uh, actually, it's flip flops. <laughs> They're advertising <laughs> flip flops. Uh, the floral print flip flops by uh, Havianas, and so they made uh, flower beds, flip flop flower beds. Uh -huh, cool. So yeah, I like that one. Um, all right, number six. High high heel. I think you're you're four points right now. So high heel. I'm gonna say that this is gonna be art. You're right, art. Uh, it's New Zealand. In Wellington, a uh, giant high heel. And yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Art. All right, uh, number seven. A giant dog peeing. Ooh, that sounds art-like. That <laughs> sounds very art-like. You know, I'm going to shock the, the world. But I'm going to go with marketing on this one, too. I got to stick with your gut. It's, it's art. It's, oh. it's actually a giant dog peeing on an art museum. And Makes sense. it's called it's... Bad Dog, uh, 28 feet tall, 30 feet, three feet long uh, in California. And uh, I guess it gained a lot of exposure. Uh, they actually it would pee yellow paint on the wall. And it, they, a lot of people wondered, you know, what does it mean? What's his, what's his whole premise? And they said it's probably that it's a, I, what he thinks of the art world. And there's a lot of ideas, but I, don't, I never really found a firm one. If you find one, put it in the description or put it in the comments. Uh, all right. Uh, next, a hair pick. Oh, this is definitely marketing. All right. What are they marketing? Um, I would say a hair pick, but <laughs> that seems too obvious. You went with the, 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 the main, the, the obvious one last time. Um, hair pick. Let's do some kind of a hair product. No, it's actually a play called Cutting Up. It was uh, Alliance Theater's production of Cutting Up. Um, about an African American barber shop, and it, this was in uh, Atlanta. It was the agency was BBDO Atlanta, but yeah, it, they had the trees look like an afro, and they stuck a giant hair pick in it. But yeah, so that was a good one. And last, oh no, number nine, we still have two more sunglasses. How many points are you up to? Are you up to 
six? I think I'm six. Six. I'm at six. Okay. All right, sunglasses. Yeah. One more point. Yep. <sighs> sunglasses. Um, let's say art on this one. Let's go art. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Seven points. You you won. So the last one's just going to be for, for uh, no, all the marbles or extra marbles. <laughs> and this one, this one was titled Sea Pink. And it was at the beach. You could look through it and see a pink sea. Oh. Yeah, Denmark. Because. Yeah, I mean, because it's art. Because, because be, art. Because art. Because art. And the last one is a braid. Let's go with um, marketing. All right, and what product would you say? Ooh, um, a giant braid would be marketing? Giant braid would be marketing a movie. A movie. Uh, shampoo. It was actually a cool idea. I really like this one. They hung a giant braid out of the window, and they had cl rock climbers climb up to show how strong <laughs> the shampoo was. It was Pantene building or a Pantene anti-break shampoo, and so a giant, uh, giant braid and having rock climbers. I thought that was a lot of fun. I'd, I'd climb a giant braid. I mean, why not? All right. Uh, eight out of ten. You won. You won the prize. Uh, you get to be crowned the Gorilla King. This is a crown I made from Gorilla Tape, and because, uh, not a sponsor, but... Uh, yeah, you get to be the Gorilla King for knowing your Gorilla Marketing. And yes, I know they aren't spelled the same, but hey, it's my show. I can do what I want. That's how it is. Yeah. I will now address my Gorilla subjects. Yes. You have a speech prepared. I have a speech prepared. Um, thank you to the Academy. I don't know who I'm talk talking to here. Um, well, let us know if you know of any modern art or Gorilla Marketing around you. Uh, maybe you're seeing something out in the in the wild um, that is interesting you put it in the comments below link to us um, tell us on some of our social media yeah make sure you like share comment and subscribe to our channel and you know like you said follow us on social media Facebook Twitter Instagram uh, yeah and let's see yeah uh, tune in next time when we talk about designing within constraints all right we'll see you then